no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending this is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. It occurred to me recently that there were a lot of social decisions made a long time ago that we all kind of live by and go along with, even though I never signed the contract, neither did you. I think we should be able to make our own social contract on the smaller things, but we never take the time to think of a different paradigm, to think of a different way of doing things. For example, if we come up with a new social contract, I think we should make farting acceptable and sneezing unacceptable. I mean, sneezing is the one where you occasionally accidentally hose down a stranger with your face mucus. And let's be honest, it's nose cum. That's what it is. We all know it. We just have a social agreement not to mention it or dance around the issue. But it's nose cum. So why is nose coming socially acceptable? And then the person you hit with your nostril jizz owes you a bless you? Say what you will about farting. You don't hit the guy next to you with ejecta when something goes wrong. I mean, maybe, maybe that's happened a few times, but I'm sure it was during severe medical situations. All right, so in my world, in this new social contract, farting... Go to town. Go to town. Clear the room. Wake the dog. Scare the baby. Doesn't matter. But sneezing, you get that shit away from me. And you'd be ashamed. You'd be ashamed of yourself. Jesus is watching. Here's another example. It's frowned upon to walk up to a neighbor or an acquaintance and punch him in the nose or smack him across the face. Those kind of things very frowned upon. But it's good business practice to pump oil through neighborhoods, give people cancer, destroy their land with fracking, make their tap water flammable. So I would reverse those two. You can't destroy the land. You can't dish out birth defects like so many Cracker Jacks prizes. But you can smack your neighbor across the face or give him a wedgie for no reason. Atomic wedgie? I don't know. We'll have to negotiate on that one. Here's another one. Currently, it is acceptable to tell someone their baby is chubby. You can just walk up and go, Oh, look at those little chubby cheeks. Oh, ho, ho, look. But it's not acceptable to tell someone their baby is, say, uh, disingenuous. Oh, what a disingenuous baby you have there. Seriously, I don't believe a damn word he's saying. I mean, they're not words, but I don't believe a damn gurgle he's gurgling. I don't. Cut the crap, baby. Where'd you hide the money? You can't call a baby ugly, either. You can't even go into what the chubbiness may mean. You can't just walk up and be like, Oh, look at those chubby cheeks. Someone's going to have sleep apnea when they grow up. Yes, they are. Somebody's going to sweat through the business shirts and breathe heavily after just opening a jar. Yes, they are. In my new social contract, you can call a baby whatever the fuck you want. You can when better. They don't know. They don't know what's going on. Get it all out now while their head is still soft and, and they don't know what the fuck's going on. I've got more. On Christmas and Hanukkah, it's socially expected that we give each other a flood of craptastic plastic presents and cut down hundreds of millions of trees, shove them into our living rooms for one week before they're thrown out on the sidewalk, shown less respect than a dead hamster or an ugly person in Los Angeles. Instead of having a yearly time when we give each other stuff, let's have a yearly time when we take stuff from the egregiously rich, right? Once a year, once a year, we make it socially acceptable for you to just take the shoes off a banker or, or the toupee off a hedge fund manager. Or even better, how about if you have over like $10 million, you just know that society expects you to be ashamed of it. Just, just to walk around like a dog who just got caught butt scooting across the nice carpet. You get to keep the money. You get all your money. But you have to look like you are disgusted by it. When Mark Cuban or Donald Trump or Rupert Murdoch walks under a balcony and some 21-year-old kid is pissing on their head, they should have to think to themselves, I get it. He has a point. I have a billion dollars and people don't have shoes. The, 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 I deserve the golden shower. 
And one more change to the social contract. Right now, it's completely normal, acceptable, to hear people talk about celebrity gossip. Jennifer Bliggity Blue is raising her baby, which she named Bliggity Bloopity. But it's pretty unacceptable to talk about another subject, a subject that's more important to the future of our species than rhetoric and racism are to Ted Cruz, or than having shit for brains is to Ted Cruz. When Americans tried it, they discovered they did not like green eggs and ham in a box with a fox in a house or with a mouse. That topic is capitalism. Really, outside of a few economists, it's a pretty dirty topic to talk about. I mean, seriously, go to a get-together and try saying loudly, do you think capitalism is really working for everyone? And see how quiet everyone gets and how, how many different records scratch. And then ask yourself why you're still attending parties with vinyl records. And then ask yourself, in a year or two, when people can no longer remember vinyl records, what noise will we use to represent saying something outrageous at a party? Uh, maybe the Mario Brothers death sound? That'll do. And maybe this sound for having an idea. So let's have a new social contract. One where we can finally have the conversations that need to be had and where nose jizzing in public is finally frowned upon. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. I wanted to thank a few more amazing supporters. Thank you, Jay Tomlinson, Laura Gentle, Doug Close, and Ivan Redder. You guys rock my world. Keep fighting.